They've been looking for 15 years, but still they can't find a Roman temple. Maybe the brand new series of Time Team will change all that at 5.40. First on four, it's all about Noel and the boxes. Twenty-two boxes, a quarter of a million pounds, just one question. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. I hope your weekend is wonderful. I hope it's packed with anticipation. That's what we got here. Anticipation just mixed with just a soupçon of trepidation. Because certain players, of course, know they are on the radar, as we call it. They've been here long enough to possibly be today's player. No, not you. Not you. How many have you done? This is my 26th show. 26 shows. Do you think you're on the radar? Do you think it's going to be I'm you? I'm on the radar. Is it going to be you? Uh, I hope so. Uh, <laughs> no, that doesn't qualify. You haven't been here very long. Mary, how many have you done? 21, but I hope it don't mean I've got a game. <laughs> you don't want a game, do you, Mary? Not today. Another day. Another day. <laughs> be honest, Mary. You've asked us, haven't you? Can you? I stay for the whole year. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she has. Wouldn't it be so distressing if Mary's name comes up? Oh, no. Oh, don't. no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We've never had a player going, no, no, <laughs> no. I don't want the chance. I don't want the money. I don't want my life to be changed forever. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Here come the names. Will it stop at Mary? Oh, oh no. So you're ready for this, the big moment. Today's player is... Mark! <laughs> Mark, will you please come and join me? The crazy chair is now yours. Yeah, it would help if you got it in the right place. And turned it the right way around. <laughs> and it would help if you got it the right way around. Good start. Good start. 26 I'm shows. No. Hi, Mark. Man. Hi. Thank Welcome. You. Great. And we've got Catherine, your wife, here. Hello, Catherine. Hello. Are you nervous? Yes. Yes. <laughs> good, good. Mark Stoko from Stockton on Tees. That's correct. Sole trader slash plasterer. I'm a sole, I'm a sole trader at plasterer, basically. Um, been doing it now for about four years. So you plaster on your own? I do, yes. Is that lonely? <laughs> <laughs> I quite enjoy it, actually. Yeah. yeah, I like time on my own. Married to Catherine for eight years. Yep. And Catherine's been very ill. Yeah, she's been uh, seriously ill. It's basically turned our lives upside down, really. Oh, I can't believe this. <laughs> no, um, about four years ago, um, I was working away from home. I got a phone call saying that she wasn't very well. Um, got home, and she'd had um, an epileptic fit. Um, the doctors just said it was a complicated faint, and uh, she had another one in front of her mother and father, and that's when they diagnosed her with... Um... Well, let me take over the story while you compose yourself. Uh, a malignant grade 3 brain tumour. And she had surgery to remove it. Uh, unfortunately, the radiotherapy afterwards was unsuccessful. And she had another operation to remove what had grown back. However, the chemotherapy seems to be working. And the latest scans show a vast improvement. Yeah. You gave up your job in order to care for her. Yeah. 
and she's here and she's looking radiant <laughs> and how do you feel i feel great i really do <laughs> thank god i mean fantastic uh nhs system really and the last scan she had it was completely clear so that's just got to get our lives back on track you've personalized the game i guess um your world has been turned upside down, so no doubt a bit of money would go down quite well. Um, yeah. <laughs> you have a tissue. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Gone for do, you want, do you want a sleeve? Well, <laughs> if I'd had a longer sleeve, I think I would have gone for it by now. No, Thank you, you uh, Are you happy to...? Yeah, I'm ready to go, yeah. OK. I need you, please, to confirm you chose box 18 at random before the game began. I did. It is sealed by our independent adjudicator, who sealed that box and 21 other boxes, and genuinely is the only person who knows where the money is. Uh, do you have a target in mind? I've, I've said from day one that I'm going to go for the quarter of a million. I want to see that confetti flag. God, you'd make us all very happy. <laughs> Mark, Catherine, I hope you have a sensational game. Good luck to you both. Thank you, Noel. Go for it, Mark. <laughs> hey, come on. Right, I haven't got a system at all. Um, I've got a couple of numbers I like. Um, I'm going to start with Debbie, number seven. OK, good luck, Mark. Big it blue. 10,000. It's okay. Okay. Yeah, Carl. Number 12. Thank you, Carl. All the best, man. Cheers, man. Get it. I'm going to go with my mate, Kate, number 16, from Megan Blue. It's been fantastic to meet you and Kath Bark. You're absolutely brilliant. We're really going to miss you. All the best, darling. Cheers. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, I'm happy. Right. Sarah, number four, make it 50p. I'll try. Best wishes, Mark. Cheers. She got the 50, but the wrong 50. Yeah. Still got the big three there, though. Yeah, it's still OK, Mark. Still a lot of money. Oh, yeah. Hey, come on. Come on. <laughs> Pip, blue in there again. I hope so for you, Mark. How many is it you've had now? 16 out of 17. 16 blues in 17 games. Ooh. A lot of averages tells me you've got red. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm going to have said, I always said if I picked a number, I was going to stick with it, so... Pip, number six. Come on, son, give me another blue. It's been great meeting you, Mark. Good luck. You too, mate. Get in! <laughs> wow. Well, that's a good start. Yeah, you're not bothered about the 50,000? Well, I've come for 250, so... OK. <laughs> <laughs> What's he going to make of you? Well, I think I think I've given good advice throughout everyone else's games. It's been sound. So I'm a little bit erratic, but you play poker and you win. I do often. Hello, banker. The banker is worried. Yay! Oh, the newbie worries you. <laughs> Oh, yes, I could see he was wearing a kilt. Mary said what to him? <laughs> <laughs> Mary said she wanted to check whether he was a real Scotsman. <laughs> <laughs> and Walter flashed her in the <laughs> green. <laughs> And Mary bothered to put her glasses on first. <laughs> no wonder you don't want to leave. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I think you could have big problems, because we are all 100% behind Mark and Catherine, I can tell you. Yeah, sound advice, but erratic, yeah? Is that what the file says? Ooh, he thinks he's got you sussed. Despite what you say, he doesn't believe for a moment that you will go all the way to the end. He thinks that's just bravado and that the moment a good deal comes, you'll grab it and you'll be off. Your opening shot, seven and a half thousand pounds. Very good. It is very good. Well worthy of a little appreciation from the pilgrims. I know it's quick response. Um, it is a very respectable offer. Ready for the question. Seven and a half thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal, no. Thank you, Mark. Come on! <laughs> my favourite number is the death box. <laughs> 22 is your favourite? Yeah, it's my favourite number. But look who's behind it. I know, yeah. That's what's scaring me. Yeah. <laughs> He's gone pink again, hasn't he? That pinks up, yeah. Despite all the warnings, Despite all the it looks comments. Blue. Yeah. <laughs> He's gone pink again. You don't care, Eddie, do you? No, I really don't care, no. <laughs> 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 I'll stay away from you then. I'm going to go with number one, Kerry. Good luck, Mark. Cheers, Kerry. It's been great knowing you. Get in. Mr. Benadorm. <laughs> My friend from the northeast. Got that tan down the mine. <laughs> yeah, Len, number 19. Come well, on, Len. I wish all the very, very best, Mark. You and your wife. You know, this is it. Love you. Cheers, Len. Thank, Thank you for having me, All the best, <laughs> Seventy-five thousand. I think we should put him back down the mine, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a big hole now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We are going to take a break, and we are exclusively for Mary, and obviously anyone else who wants to just have a little look. Walter is now going to do a cartwheel <laughs> across the studio. <laughs> Regrettably for you, you're going to have to go away, but we'll tell you all about it when you come back. <laughs> See you in a moment. And well done, Walter. To do that five times was really quite amazing. <laughs> and Mary, you're right now, Mary. Oh, much better, thank you, Neil. Oh, good. good. <laughs> she said the last time she saw something like that, it was in a zoo. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Mark's game. Wow. This is, if you don't mind me saying, a little tense. We do not want a larger hole appearing on the right hand side. Right, come on, guys, I want a blue. Addy, number 17. Come on, give me a blue, please. Best of luck, Matt. I hope this is blue for you. It's going to be blue, Addy. It's, come on, blue. it's going to come be on. blue. Blue, positivity. blue. Positivity, thank yeah. you. Well, he's going to get all excited about the fact there's a big hole on the right-hand side, but uh, that could have been a lot worse. Hello again. Oh, you enjoyed Walter's cartwheel as well, did you? Uh, it was an amazing sight, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> oh, 
thank you very much. OK, he thinks you are balanced, because you have the two little blues there, yep. despite the hit with the big red. And he's going to stick. Seven and a half thousand pounds. Okay. Second time, Mark. I think it's a good offer, yes. I'm still three to two there, though. And 15 and 20 thousand. Good backup. Very good backup. I'm ready for the question. Or... I thought you probably were. Seven and a half thousand pounds for a second time. Deal or no deal? No deal, no. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> Winston, number 11. It's been Thank great getting to know you, mate. And yourself, too. Cheers, Winston. Let's make it blue. Oh, no! The hole gets bigger. Now the hundred thousand's gone. Right. I've got to hit blue now. There's that many on there. So... William, number 20. Let's make it blue. Yeah, I'll make this one blue. I know it's going to be a blue. OK. Wow! Another one of the Power Five going. And that's evened it up horribly. 250 still there. Don't you before, Maureen, and for some reason I didn't go there, but I am going to come Take back. The penny. Yeah? Yep. You got the penny for me? Yep. Right, Maureen, number 10. That's all right. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> got to start finding blue now. I've got seven of them sitting there, but that was, that was a horrible round. Was... All red round. I've still got a backup of 20 and 15. I've got the 250 there yep. still. And it's in your box. I've thought it all along. Feeling good about 18. It's my dad's birthday. Hello. Yeah, he's going to keep going as long as the quarter mill's there. He's going to go on. You don't believe that? Oh, OK, so you don't think he lacks courage? Oh, you think he's too sensible? Too reasonable, too rational. Doesn't know me. <laughs> no. <laughs> he said that is a slightly worrying exchange for him. <laughs> you stopped him in mid flow there. He was just going on about all these things you are, and then that happened, and he suddenly stopped. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Ooh, maybe I've got it wrong. £3,750 was what he was intending to offer you. And then that little exchange that occurred there has knocked him sideways. He's sticking at seven and a half. Even though that was horrible, again, you get seven and a half. Mark, wear this for luck. Carry Where on. Does it have a history behind it, Walter? It does. How many times have you been shot at, Walter? <laughs> I should say half a dozen times. Oh, well. As I've gone out of bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were talking about a fine military career here. Yeah, true. Yeah. Did, Did you, you see you wore it in the bedroom? Yes. <laughs> when he's trooping the colour. <laughs> <laughs> so, when you were in the Black Watch, did you fight in the bush? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mark. Yeah? Please, consider. We don't want it to happen, but consider. If that 250,000 goes with all those boots still there, it becomes 
very, very dangerous. Yeah. Very dangerous. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you, Eddie. I think the 250's there, though. I really do. I've said from day one, I'm ready for the question. A familiar sum of money. Yeah. Again, seven and a half thousand pounds, deal or no deal. No deal, no. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to go with you, then, number two. OK. OK? And doesn't it feel as if he simply can't avoid having an all-blue round? Seven blues. Den, give us one of them. Good luck, Mark. Thank you, Den. You're a lovely guy. Really are. Yes. Yeah. Tony, 21. Brave man, mate. Cheers, Tony. Okay, mate. Surely it must be a blue. Surely. Oh, no. Off the 250, Mark. Still there. Come on. Still there. Still there. OK, we're going to call a break there. Uh, I know everyone is going to come back because you have created a game which can be best summed up as nail-biting. Do come back. This one's gripping, and we want a great result for Mark and for Catherine. See you shortly. Welcome back to Mark's game. He won't mind me saying this is one of those... <laughs> because we're hanging on. Look, 15,000 would be very nice, but as long as he keeps a quarter of a million there, he's in with a chance of some meaningful offers. And, of course, you do have the belief that Box 18 has got the quarter of a million. Yeah. One more. I'm going to go for Mary, number 14. Mary, this has to be blue. It really does. Best of luck, Mark. Thank you, Mary. Yeah! Well, we've arrived at eight box. It's 5-3 the wrong way, but you still could be our first male quarter millionaire. Feel Still could see the confetti. Hello? Aha, yes. The return of the lucky hat. Oh, go on. He said, I need the 20,000 to give him any sort of comfort. Then he said, I know exactly what I'm going to offer. Does seven and a half thousand sound familiar? <laughs> Gone for it again, has he? No, twelve thousand. Yeah. Up to you. You're not going to settle, law, unless you. I think I've got the two fifty in there, Cam. Go for it then. I really do. I've said it from day one. OK. Mark, just make sure you go home with no regrets. Yeah. Yeah. That would be my biggest... I mean, what would I be like to live with? Yeah. 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 <laughs> that would be an absolute nightmare. Yeah. You would. Would, wouldn't I? Yes. It's just... It is a good offer and I don't want to disrespect it, you know? i to think about it first. Hey, right, I'm ready for the question. £12,000. Deal? Or no deal? No deal, no. <laughs> I think I'd like a, a kiss off you, Cassie, so... <laughs> we'll 
go for number five. I want a penny. Well, I just want to remind you that yesterday I did have 250,000, but I hope this time it's a blue. I really do. You know, this should hold no fear at all for you, Catherine, or for anybody. No. Because you are so convinced the quarter of a million is here, we cannot possibly bump into it. No. It's blue all the way now. I'm going to go for number three, Steve. Mark, I haven't known you long, but you're fantastic, lad. What Cheers, you get Steve. that 250. Thank okay. you, mate. It's all right. It's in there. There's only one number that fears I'm fearful of, but like I say, there's no point now, is there? I'm gonna go for Trev, number nine. Which is the number you're frightened of? 22. Well, there's no need to play it just yet. But anyway, you, it's in there. It's there. It okay. is. So we're with you, Trev. You sorely missed on the east wing. Cheers, Trevor. Yeah! 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 would be a very nice consolation if it had gone wrong, but it's not going to go wrong because you're going all the way and the quarter mill is there. Hello. <laughs> oh, he says it's much better to walk out of here with sensible money and a tinge of regret rather than total loss of self-belief. He is absolutely determined to make sure you realise that this is all going to go horribly wrong. How does £15,000 feel at this moment? It's a fantastic offer, but I'm just convinced it's in there. £19,000. <laughs> All convinced. You really are convinced, aren't you? I am, yeah. I really am. So he's not going to get you with 21,000. <laughs> <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't even, like, flinched, because I'm so convinced it's in there. Your box is now worth for certain if you say a four-letter word £24,000. That is a very clever offer. Very. Mark, just remember mine and your conversation. Stay focused, mate. Stay focused. Yeah. You know where you're going. Yeah. I really, really want to go for it. I really do. Well, go for it, then. It's a deal. Go for it. Really, really. Mark? Yeah? If you deal now, and you have got the 250 on the table, there is a silver lining there, cos you've got 24,000. That's, that's your silver lining. Yeah. If you no-deal and you take out the 250, it's going to be really quite hard to find a silver lining there. Yeah. Can I ask a few people? Or just go ahead. Go ahead. I'll get those to stand up who would deal. You wouldn't deal, Kath. No, I need you at this point. <laughs> this is quite serious. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you think it's in there. 
The story well, is, this year, things have been that bad. Thank you, everyone. I've done my books, and I've, I've actually only earned £4,000 this year. Um, Kath doesn't work because he's retired on ill health grounds, so it's... So in the last 12 months of working, you've, you've earned just £4,000. £4, £4,000. Mark? Yeah, then? I bet if you went round there, stood round there and saw board that way, do you think that, that would... Well, that's what I've tried to... I've tried to visualise being stood there. And... I just think of Lauren's game. Yeah, yeah. I think of Ellen's game. But then I think of Alex's game. Ellen, 75,000. Lauren, 100,000. Alex, 750 pounds. They're the games you're thinking about. Can I go and have a word with Catherine? Would you want her to come down here? Come down here, come Catherine. Down, Catherine. Come down, Catherine. Come on. what you think that counts. I know that, but it's, it's a big decision, isn't it? And I've always, always said, said when, it. No, you've always said when the 250 gets in the way, you just say 250. Yeah. <sighs> Noel, I'm ready for the question, please. Mark. Twenty-four thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? Deal. I can see you shaking. That's bad. <laughs> Are you still convinced it's in box 18? Yeah. You are? I am, yes, I am. It's there. OK, Mark, here we go. Three boxes, as you would have played on. We know 22 was giving you a problem. So I would have gone to eight next, Bobby. OK, here we go. Bobby, show me a quarter of a million pounds. No. It would have been... A very, very good start. It's now number 15. 15. Walter, welcome to the game. Thank you. Well then, Mark. 250, okay, we'd have had a 5,000 and a tenner finish. <laughs> Can't believe it. Here he goes, he has to play on exactly as you were playing on. Hello. Thank you. Your offer at this point would have been, and just imagine the mood, the atmosphere in here, it would have been 1,200 pounds. 1,200 pounds. <laughs> Yeah, come on, sit in the chair. Drop over, you two. Imagine if that's ten pounds. Ten pounds. Here we go. Was your belief so out <laughs> that actually it was a tenner? What did you bring to the table? You brought five thousand pounds. <laughs> there was nothing to worry about. Box twenty-two. Come on, Pinky, can we just have a little look? <laughs> <laughs> well done, mate. Well done. Jimmy. He's got the tenor over there. What a game. What an incredible game. Oh. So, that is an epic game. That really is. How are you feeling? <sighs> over the moon. Absolutely <laughs> over the moon. And you did the right thing in the end. I nearly went on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm so pleased, Mark. £24,000. Okay. <laughs> 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 
Oh, yes! Wow. That's put a sparkle in your weekend, doesn't it? I hope you really, really enjoyed this game. And I think you've been enjoying all the games we've had recently. They've just been sensational. I'll see you tomorrow when we'll do it all over again. But as always, it's unpredictable and most certainly different. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Ten past four for tomorrow's box opening. Next today, two ancient squares mark the spot. The hunt for the Roman temple is on in our new series of Time Team.